question, the member for Tabiskaman, Hawkins. My question is to the Premier. Carmen's the primary caregiver for her 91-year-old mother. Her mom qualifies for two showers a week through home care, and Carmen made an inquiry to see if she could get a bit more. Um, her mom was reevaluated, and now she gets one shower per week. Is that an example of the enhanced home care that this government keeps boasting about? Mr. Pell. Thank you, Speaker. You know, I think that individual cases, while I obviously cannot um, delve into them here in question period, are an important thing to highlight why we have in our budget a billion dollar investment in home care. Here, here. It is investing for the next three years to improve quality of care and keep the people of Ontario in the homes longer that they love. You know, we are investing not only in the nursing visits, in the shifting hours, in the therapy visits, including physiotherapy, occupational therapy, and speech language pathology, but we're also doing it within community. And that is, as many of us know, the um, programs like adult day programs, meal services, transportation, caregiver supports, and assisted living services and caregiver support. Will the member opposite be supporting this billion dollar investment in our budget? The supplementary question. Thank you, Speaker. This government has been in power for four years. This happened this week. Carmen was just asking for a little bit more help for her mom. She got less. And you know what? Carmen's mom now gets two showers because Carmen's mom, or Carmen, pays for the other one herself. Privatization. This is privatization. That PSW, the same PSW. So. Is that the solution? Is that the solution? Pouring billions of dollars isn't the answer if Carmen's mom only gets one shower at the end of the day through home care. I keep hearing billions of dollars, but it's services to people that matter. And is this government actually going to provide the service through public health care? Minister of Health. No. Speaker, when we passed the Connecting People to Home and Community Care Act, which I must say the members opposite voted against, yep. it modernized the delivery of home and community care services by bringing an outdated system designed in the 1990s into the 21st century. We'll continue to do that innovation. We'll continue to bring forward the things that people need when they want to stay safely in their own homes. And that is including an investment that we have made in this year's budget. I hope the member opposite takes a close look at what that investment will mean to his community and the people across Ontario and do the right thing and vote for our budget.